I just remember like he'd always walk around the hallway like during um, our times like switching periods and like whenever he'd walk by you like you wouldn't expect him to like look at you in the eyes or anything but he'd always like look at you directly in the eyes and like he made you feel like he knew you like knew exactly who you were and everything about you and like it just showed how much he cared about the students like he always wanted to say hi like no matter who you were. He was a great guy. We know he served the military and yeah. for 20, 20 years. Served country. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Change I mean, the community. I never really talked to him that much, but I knew he was like, a great man. Yeah, he always interacted with the students. Like, yeah, yeah. Like in the hallways, he, he loved, he loved the, the students, the community. He, he did so much for the community. Whenever I saw him in the hallway, he would always smile. He was always really cheerful. Um, and at the pep rally, he would always try and pepper everyone. And uh, he, it's, a really, it's a shame that he's there. Um, I just think like Dr. Nelson didn't fit the like stereotypical principal role. like. Of just being like an author authoritarian, authoritative, I guess. He really just wanted to like reach out to the community and the student body, especially, and like make sure that everyone was like comfortable and had a good time at school, like no matter who they were or what they did. Yeah, he was like always there. Um, he always had something positive or motivational to say. I remember we were. Um a soccer game uh, against Scotch Plains and I just remember him running back and forth and like hanging out with the mascot and just sort of riling the crowd up and I just remember it just showed how much he cared about our school and he was just like he, he like loved all his students so much.